Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, and welcome to our webinar this morning. Um, I, we are going to be talking about introducing a security feedback loop to your CI pipelines. Today, I have with me Matthew Barker from Twistlock, Dustin Van Buskirk from Codefresh, and Varun Korapati from Steelcase. So let's go ahead and get started with our first presenter. Matthew Barker from Twistlock. He's a senior solutions architect, and I will go ahead and hand it over to Matthew to tell you a little bit more about himself. Thank, thanks, Taryn. So I, I've been squarely at the intersection of DevOps and security for the past eight years, uh, experience in static source code analysis, component scanning for vulnerabilities, and more recently, cloud native security with a focus on Docker containers. Um, really glad to be here today. And I'll turn it over to our next uh, presenter, Dustin. Hi, everybody. This is Dustin Van Buskirk. Um, so I'm currently employed at Codefresh as a senior solutions architect. I help with proof of concepts and onboarding of our customers. Uh, I previously worked with Steelcase and helped them kind of set up this uh, integration that we'll be showing to you later. And I'll hand it off to Varun Korapati now. Hi, everyone. This is Varun. Uh, I'm a DevOps engineer working for Silkcase. I've been working in Silkcase for around 19 months. And I worked with Dustin on implementing the CI-CD process and uh, uh, hooking up the CI, uh, security scanning into CI-CD. Uh, that should be me. Great. So today we're going to be talking about how to implement security scanning with Codefresh and Twistlock. Um, so first, Twistlock will give a talk on, on uh, how to improve security. Um, then Steelcase will give us some of their use cases um, for scan security scanning in their CI pipelines. Um, then we'll go ahead and show you how Codefresh automation works, and Dustin will provide a demo. So first, I'll hand this off to Varun to talk about Steelcase. Hi, everyone. Uh, so Steelcase is a 106-year-old furniture company. Uh, we offer a wide range of uh, technology products that fits in with the, uh, with the furniture. So as a part of that product, uh, uh, WordPress Advisor is, an is a main application we work on. Uh, it, uh, it's an analytics platform that gives out usage metrics of the office space. And uh, as a part of that, there's a lot of IoT devices, uh, sensors, and gateways deployed all around you are all around the office, which has the data of meeting rooms, office spaces, and we have customers uh, on the furniture side uh, of Fortune 500 customers, and uh, our WPA just rolled out, and we are expecting a few more customers to roll in. So privacy is a crucial part uh, because the, the, the sensors and uh, collect the data of the meeting rooms and office spaces, uh, we consider privacy a critical part of our application security. And if you go to the next slide, so this is a this is a uh, this is a uh, CACD pipeline we uh, want and uh, we are on our pro in the process of having. So when I, uh, when uh, when a developer commits the code to GitHub, uh, it will send it to Codefresh and Codefresh will handle it to Twistlock. And when it comes back, it pass it. when it passes, it will then re uh, redirect the. Uh, deployment to Kubernetes or any orchestration service you use, we use Rancher. Uh, but if it fails, it's going to go back to GitHub, and uh, that's how your feedback loop works. And Twistlock uh, defenders are deployed in our orchestration that has uh, that will make sure uh, all your security compliances are uh, in place. And uh, that's how this ideal uh, CI/CD and security integrated pipeline uh, is as per Steelcase. The next slide, and uh, I I'd like to introduce to Matthew. Uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so the Twistlock platform um, basically is going to secure your development operations uh, throughout your DevOps lifecycle, uh, from dev to uh, build to test to deployment. Uh, we also provide um, several types of uh, of runtime uh, protection, um, runtime defense, and cloud-native firewalling. Um, on the vulnerability management compliance side is, is, is the features that kind of fit in today's topic. Uh, we uh, pull in vulnerability data from over 30 different sources, uh, and we do uh, over 300 different compliance checks. Uh, we get those compliance checks primarily from 
the Center for Internet Security. Um, what's really important, though, uh, about scanning for compliance and security is that what we've found is a typical application is only about 10% custom code and 90% would be the components in your app and then the binaries in uh, a typical Docker file such as the base OS and the base image. Um, so your developers can do the best job they could to uh, try not to introduce um, vulnerabilities and security risks in their code, um, but typically that 90% is the highest risk and so being able to detect uh, vulnerability and compliance problems as early as possible is critical here. Um, another shift left approach to security. So uh, with the CodeFresh TwistLock solution, uh, you're able, your developers are able to detect those problems early and remediate them uh, long before they reach deployment. And when Dustin does his demo, uh, you're gonna see that in action. So why is it important? Why should you care about vulnerability management? Um, well, as I mentioned first, use, finding problems early is going to reduce uh, costs by avoiding rework. Um, and being able to eliminate high and critical vulnerabilities early on, uh, obviously is gonna pay tremendous dividends. Uh, just about breaches are happening just about every day. The average cost of a breach is over $3 million. So being able to efficiently produce quality code with low risk is going to save money and obviously save the, the, co the cost of a deadly breach. Um, Equifax breach is a great example of that. The uh, millions of, of uh, consumer data was released. Uh, the costs of that are still going on. So you definitely, this is definitely a critical topic. So what are some of the advantages that are unique to the TwistLock solution? Um, as I mentioned before, we pull data from over 30 different sources, both open source and commercial feeds. Um, but what, what we also do is identify uh, the vendor or what I like to call the authoritative source for a particular vulnerability. Um, by going to that authoritative source and by having a large breadth of feeds, you get both uh, fewer false positives and false negatives. So you don't miss vulnerabilities because of the breadth of our data. And because we hone in on the best source of data, you eliminate those false positives. Um, another important uh, feature is being able to set the thresholds for vulnerability and compliance. Uh, what I've found through my experience is that most of the vendors out there, particularly the OS vendors, they only fix the medium, high, and critical vulnerabilities, and they focus on the high and critical. So the low and medium vulnerabilities often uh, do not get addressed. Um, so the ability to set a threshold for your tolerance for vulnerability and compliance is a critical part of being able to uh, remediate and be efficient in eliminating that technical debt from vulnerabilities. Um, Another important thing is I like to say, nobody likes someone that reports a problem and never offers a solution. Um, we at TwistLock, we don't wanna be that guy. And so what we do is whenever we show a vulnerability or compliance issue, there is a clear remediation path. So your developers, um, we can uncover those problems early and then give your developers the tools they need to remediate those problems quickly. So what are some of the thresholds you can set with uh, the TwistLock platform? Uh, so for example, you could say block all high vulnerabilities uh, in a particular library or class, or class of libraries. Um, so uh, another one is to alert if there's medium or high compliance issues. The blocking is pretty cool because the blocking, I like to call strong enforcement. If you put blocking in place, it's actually, actually at the build time, it's gonna fail the build. And at deployment time, it will stop a particular container with a high vulnerability from actually being able to be launched. Um, alerts are more like email alerts, Slack or Splunk alerts um, that you can set up. So when a uh, 
when an image container is launched with one of these vulnerabilities or in the build, you would get alerts instead of strong enforcement. Um, we also have another pretty cool feature. It has to do with remediation. Uh, oftentimes for a vulnerability, there is no remediation. The vendor does not have an available fix. Maybe it's a low vulnerability. Uh, you can actually tweak our settings, so only reporting uh, vulnerabilities with a known fix. Uh, and that way you know there's a clear remediation path. So um, our threshold settings are very flexible and kind of to meet your own needs and demands around uh, compliance and vulnerabilities. All right, so this is the flow that introduces the new integration point for the code fresh users to call on the twist block um, service to scan their Docker images after they are built before they are merged into shared branches. Uh, to scan your Docker images against twist block and return the results of the CI pipeline, parse the results and report the URL back to the image metadata and succeed or fail the build based on the thresholds configured in either code fresh or twist block. <clears throat> this can be used to prevent known security risks from being introduced to other developers pushed into a shared Docker registry or possibly deployed to your upper tier Kubernetes clusters. So by putting this and just introducing it into your workflow, um, you can block this from going up and out um, to the internet or to your other developers. So it's, you know, possibly poisoning the well for your Git, your Git repository. It's possibly um, available to your registry for your users to pull. So it just offers a really nice block, like a gate that, that, that is required in order to um, pass anything through into those upper tier environments or to your users. And the feedback.